Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at default applications. So when you do something on your Mac that will trigger an application to run, what application runs? For instance, if you want to open a web link, which browser runs? If you want to send an email, which email application runs? If you want to open a JPEG file, which image viewing application runs? Are well, there ways to set all of these defaults? Let's take a look. So say you want to set which browser runs when you click on a link. Maybe you're in an application and it says go to our website for more information. Or maybe you click on a link in an email and it opens up the web browser. Well, to do that you go into Safari. Even if Safari isn't the application that you want to run, it's not the browser you want to choose. In Safari Preferences you'll find a setting under General for Default Web Browser. And here you can choose whichever web browser that you have installed. And there are a lot of different applications that actually act as web browsers so you probably have a lot more choices than the ones you want. But like for instance here is Chrome and here is Firefox. You set it here in Safari and then when you click on a link in an application or in an email that browser is the one that will run and open up that web page. Now it's a similar thing for email. You run the default mail application simply called Mail even if that's not the one you want to use. And in there you can go to Mail Preferences and in Preferences you can go to General and the very first one is your default email reader. And here you can choose from different ones. So for instance if you have Microsoft Outlook installed from the latest Microsoft Office you can choose that as your default email reader. Sometimes applications like Outlook itself may actually have the same setting in it so you can go there instead. But it's always there in Mail. Now how about when you connect to camera. When you connect to camera you can determine what happens. You can go into iPhoto there even if iPhoto is the program you want to use. Go into Preferences and you'll find Connecting Camera Opens and you'll find a couple of options. One of those being Image Capture. Now when you run Image Capture you can actually select the device on the left and set a custom uh, application for each different device. So for instance you can do iPhoto or Image Capture but you also have other choices and you can even choose the bottom one which you can't see right off the screen here which is to choose other so you can choose any application for opening when you connect that camera or in this case a SD card. Now what about other files like say image files like these JPEG files. Well you can control click on one and select open with and it will open with any application you want that one time. Hold down the option key and you'll notice open with changes to always open with. So you can not only open it with a certain application this time but every time you double click on that file it will open with that same application. But that only affects that one file. If you want all the JPEG images to open with a certain application then do command I or file get info uh, with that file selected. And there are many things in here. One of them is open with and you can set which application to open with for that specific file. But say I pick something different. So I'm going to go down here and say I want to do Pixelmator. It's going to be the application I open this file with. I can also hit the change all button and then I get this dialog here that will change the default application for all documents with extension JPEG to open with Pixelmator. So that's the way to set the default application for a file type. So if you have say audio files like MP3s or AIFFs you can set it to open with a specific sound editing application. You can do it with different types of images. Now you have to pay attention to that dialog box. Sometimes it will say open all .jpeg files with this. Sometimes it will say open all files created by this certain application because there's actually more information in the file than just the file extension. So sometimes it will be smart and say everything created by this application open it now in this instead of actually just relying on the file extension. So one last thing if you go into System Preferences and you go to CDs and DVDs uh, here you can set the default application for what happens when you insert something like say a blank CD, what happens, what application opens, DVD, music CD. So there's various defaults that you can set here in this System Preference pane as well. So hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.